Look, there's a person. Hey there guys and gals and welcome back once again to the D4A channel. Today it's another exciting day of unboxing things. And what we're unboxing today is my AM X series Uego wideband air fuel ratio gauge. Now this is the tool that's going to enable me to have the perfect tune for my engine build. This is the tool that's going to enable me to set up my bike carbs to work in the best possible way and achieve the maximum horsepower and the best responsiveness. So let's open the box and see what's inside. When you open the box the first thing you're going to see is the gauge itself. So this thing I have no idea how to remove it. Okay, there's these two little flaps. Let's remove the two little flaps. Okay, and here's the gauge. Okay, I got it. So there's two little screws at the back. You remove the little screws. And the gauge comes out. As you can see, the gauge is super small, super slim, and super lightweight. And I think you can mount this virtually anywhere in any dashboard without any issues. Now the basic gauge, it's black. You can actually buy a little upgrade, which is a little silver bezel, in case you get bored of this look. I'm gonna show you that too. So here's the silver bezel. You can put it on and change the look of the gauge. I'm going to show you that, you know, in more detail later. Now this is a full digital gauge and the whole technology of the AEM X-Series is digital. So that's the gauge. Let's put it here. And now the rest of the contents of the box. Inside you will find one, two wiring harnesses and one wideband O2 sensor and a little bunk and some butt connectors and some I guess rubber rubber band or something we'll see what it is inside of course there's also a nice set of detailed installation instructions so we have already covered the gauge a thing I would like to note is that um, this is just some, you know, protective foil. Please don't think it looks like this. It's actually a lot nicer and prettier looking. As I have promised, here's the little silver bezel. So let's open it up. So here we have the silver bezel. As you can see, very pretty. It can read, this gauge can actually read in lambda. And it can also read in stoichiometric air fuel ratio. So whatever you're most used to, you just flip the little dial face and you put it in. And then you put it over your little gauge and voila you have a brand new look. So that's it, that's the gauge. As I have already said, very simple, very nice. Next we have the two wiring harnesses. Now this is super simple. This little wiring harness, it just plugs in into the into the gauge like so. Plugs in there. And this connects to your car and this powers the gauge. Wiring harness number two actually has to do with this. This is the O2 sensor. It connects with the O2 sensor here. And then it connects to the gauge like so. So as you can see, a very simple install. Here we have the sensor. This is actually Bosch's 4.9 LSU sensor. This is some very new, very, very smart technology. And you will see that any serious air fuel ratio out the, you know, gauge out there is going to be using this sensor. So this is definitely good stuff, proven to work really well, you know, very nice. A note, be careful, if you remove this, there's antices, you know, here, do not touch it. It will get you very dirty very quickly. I learned that the stupid way. So this is the part that actually goes into your ex exhaust manifold. You have to put it in a spot where it can sample the exhaust gases of all of your, you know, cylinders, if it's four, six, you know, or, or however many you have. You then connect it, as I showed you, to the wiring harness and back to the gauge. 
And last but not, not least is this little little plastic bag. Inside is an, a bung. This is the bung that you are going to weld onto your exhaust manifold and you are then going to screw this inside the bung. We also have some butt connectors. The butt connectors are used for the little electrical connections. Another interesting thing with the butt connectors, I actually have a video of a wiring harness restoration, not the best video ever, but I have used butt connectors. And a lot of people have been giving me, you know, a lot of grief why I have used butt connectors. I think if AEM thinks butt connectors are good enough, you should too. And the last thing is the rubber band. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what's it for. Maybe you can launch it into somebody's nose if they're annoying you while you're making a video or something. So yeah. That's the contents of the box. As you can see, this is really very, very simple and not a daunting install at all. So why do you need all of this stuff that's in the box? Now, once you start modifying and tuning your engine, you will eventually reach a point where you'll be changing the amount of fuel entering your combustion chambers. Now, once you start doing that, an air-fuel ratio gauge becomes the only way of reliably knowing whether the changes you are making are good or bad. Now, we all know how dangerous it can be to run an air-fuel mixture that is too lean. Uh, a too lean air-fuel mixture results in engine knock, and we all know engine knock destroys an engine very quickly. Running an air-fuel mixture that is too rich is going to result in an engine that is, you know, slow, non-responsive, doesn't perform well, and gets full of carbon deposits in no time. So, an air-fuel ratio gauge becomes necessary for two reasons. Reason number one being that by enabling you to monitor your air fuel ratio, you know, in real time as you drive, it enables you to spot any issues and correct your air fuel ratio long before these issues become potential sources of engine damage. And number two, it enables you to fine tune your air fuel uh, ratio, you know, at different throttle positions and different driving conditions so you can extract the most horsepower out of your particular engine setup. Now, a lot of grassroots car enthusiasts like myself are sometimes reluctant to spend the money on one of these. They think they're, you know, kind of expensive, you know, and a bit complicated. But what you have to realize is that information and knowledge is power. The more information you have about your engine, the better it's going to perform. You can have the, you know, the fanciest, the most pretty looking, the rarest car parts, but without, you know, a proper tune, they are pretty much useless. My bike carbs are a typical example of this. They may look really cool, but without a proper tuning, with a good air fuel ratio gauge, they are honestly pretty useless. And all they're going to be doing is looking pretty in my engine bay. Speaking about tuning brings us to the topic of why have I decided to go with the AEM X-Series Uego Wideband Air Fuel Ratio Gauge. Now, if you look around, you will see that there's a bunch of different gauges out there. And of course, you know, not all of them are made equal. So, uh, I have decided to go, you know, with this one out of several reasons. Now, reason number one is that AEM is a reputable company that has been out there, you know, for quite a while. And they have done their homework when it comes to research and development. Now, reason number two is actually response time. Now, response time is super important when it comes to air fuel ratio gauges. Why? Well, because uh, things in your engine happen, you know, within fractions of a second. So you may be driving, you know, and your engine, when you, you know, put the throttle or push the throttle just, you know, at a certain throttle position, your engine may experience a lean condition, you know, for just a fraction of a second. It may have this little, you know, lean spike. Now, in case your air fuel ratio gauge doesn't respond fast enough, it won't be able to, you know, to spot that and it won't display it you know, on the gauge and you won't see it, you will miss it and you will keep driving with it. Now this, the AEM X-Series is actually the fastest responding air fuel ratio gauge out of all of its competitors and independent testing actually reliably, you know, shows that. Now reason number three is actually the price. When you take, a, you know, into account, you know, the reputation of this brand and what you get, you know, in the package, you will see that this is actually a pretty reasonable price costing even less, you know, than some far less known brands. And uh, reason number four is that actually a lot of really successful race teams use AEM gauges. And I guess if it's good enough, you know, for them, it's definitely good enough for my 
street driven you know MR2 with a 4AG engine with a bike carb conversion you know so that's pretty much it when it comes to the unboxing uh, we have seen what's inside the box I've talked a little bit why you might need an air fuel ratio gauge and why this particular one is actually a pretty good choice now um, what I plan to do in the future in terms of the air fuel ratio gauge is I will be making a detailed install video where I'll show you step by step how this gets installed into a car. But as I said for today, that's pretty much it and I would like to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions about this or anything else regarding you know, my car, my bike card conversion or any other thing that might come to your mind, you know, the comment section is right there. So, once again, thanks for watching and see you next time on the D4A channel. Now, here's something else I want to show you. If you actually take the box and turn it around and open it up. Look, there's a person. Now, who is this person? This is actually JC. He's the founder of AM. And I think this is a really neat way for the company, you know, to pay tribute to their boss, I guess. I think actually other companies should take up on this. Imagine you buy a Ford and you open the doors and inside it's a cardboard cutout of Henry Ford sitting, you know, in the passenger seat. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's enough for me today. See you soon on the D4A channel.